Hey guys, um, so this is a video of a bit of bad news that's forcing me to make better videos. It'll make a bit of sense. Um, so it's been a while since I did any of the hobby store stuff, which I have been working on. Believe me, I have been, and it's been very hard work. The problem is the editing program that I use. Um, I could get it to work for the first two videos I made, and I can get it to work whenever I need to do something Street Fighter or small or whatever, but these videos that I do are a little more complex than that. You know, there's a lot of editing to it. Um, I still have all the footage and everything that I recorded for it. Uh, here's the thing though. I'm gonna move you guys over here. This is what, you know, I see when I edit. You know, this is, this is pretty normal. Um, I have to split the audio sometimes just to make sure you know, syncs up right, have all the images and files that I want. Um, but see, here's the problem. This program, which is first called PowerDirector 8, so I ask you guys to avoid it, because um, this thing constantly crashes on me, like once every other day. And whenever it does, um, see, like, here's, here's a piece of footage for, you know, part of the review. And, you know, it... it it plays fine. Well, let me see if I can get it to actually play. Go. Oh. On Jewel Shards, Maple Story works at the fact that it is a game and plays itself out like a game rather than a universe. The mechanics are short and sweet and... Yeah, so that's what it normally looks like. However, when it crashes, random... And I, I mean this quite literally. Random pieces of footage, not pictures, footage, just become this. Oh, oh. Let's look at the cards. That'll bring us into the gameplay and strategy, and after that, I believe you'll understand. The first card... You notice the complete black? Yeah, this wasn't complete black ten minutes ago. This was footage. Hold on, where is it? Let me back this up a bit. This was footage, this was footage, um, this was footage, right in here, yeah, that, uh, let's see, that was footage, that was footage, that was footage, you get the idea. It does this a lot, which means I not only need to go in and replace, this, replace those pieces of footage, I have to resync the entire video, because whenever a piece of video is taken out of this bar, everything collapses. And I've looked for some way to stop it on this program, but there's none. So that means I have to completely resync everything. And you're thinking, well, why did you cut the audio out of some of the footage? Well, because the audio wasn't syncing with the video if I kept it with the video. So the only way to make sure it synced was to make it a separate product. So here's what I unfortunately have to do. I have all the images and footage that I need to make the video. I still have the entire script for the video here in Word. Well, not Word, WordPad, whatever. You get the idea. Um, I need to get and download Adobe Premiere, which I've been putting off. It's actually quite cheap for me to get, seeing as how, you know, I'm a teacher. And it really shouldn't take too long, but it's still a, a good chunk of change, which means I have to wait even longer to get this one out, which has been kicking my ass. I've been trying for the past three months to get this thing out, and this thing keeps setting me back. And after a while, I get frustrated and leave it be for a week, and now I'm just kind of sick and tired of it, and I'm going to move on. So, that is what's happening. Catch you guys later.